Hello everyone! So for this episode, I was going to start working on the village some more. I spent a couple of Minecraft days making this wall all around the village, so we shouldn't have any more zombies or skeletons or just about anything just wandering in. With all these torches here, nothing should spawn. And I'm not really excited about that one spot. So, the village should be secured now. Now it's, I just want to allow the villagers to spawn some more. So that we can get more of them. So to do that, we're going to make... We're going to try and get more doors in the place. Because villagers really like doors. And they breed based off the doors. So we're just going to make like a little town center for them. But um, I destroyed all the farms technically. The still the plaza is still here, but I dug up all the um, food because I want to get some dedicated farmers for that and for certain items, so I can use that for farming in the future. So for now, I just got rid of all their produce. So let's see. I'm just gonna get rid of this middle plot so that we can go ahead and use this for the town center area. I want to make it so that we can farm iron golems because iron golems will only spawn after there's so many villagers in the village and doors. So we need to allow more villagers to spawn first. So, but my idea is is to have houses just filled with doors. But I don't want villagers going in them and opening, and closing all the doors because it gets kind of loud and annoying. So what I'm going to do is have two houses filled with doors and a little bit elevated, so villagers can't jump in. However, since they are two houses, the iron golem should spawn in between the houses. So that they don't, um... Oh, there's an apple on that tree I chopped down earlier. This way the iron golems don't get stuck in the houses. Because I have seen that in a previous game I was playing. The... Gone golems used to get stuck in the houses as well. And that was its own little annoyance in itself. Alright, um... We can convert this house into a door building as well. I'm not too sure what this size was. I think it's like five blocks for the iron golems. So... I want to use this space as well. I think. Yeah, I would like to use this space as well. So let's chop down this little area. Let's just make it so no one can jump in that space. Oops, I can't even get out of the space. So yeah, just making it so it's safe. I'm keeping at least the dirt blocks for now. Yeah. 
string and add some stone so it looks nicer. Anyone here? You. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. This is no longer a home for use. It is now under possession of the player. It will be not a home for living, it is a home for doors. <laughs> Door home. Uh, I think I screwed that up. Oh well. Well the main thing we just gotta do is make it so no one can come in here. But it still needs doors so that the villagers consider it a home. So they continue to use it for a place of reading, per se. We're gonna have to. We just gotta elevate everything by a block. Yeah. I would like to keep these slabs though. I can use it for another project. Because wood current well we got plenty of bricks, so let's use the brick. All the brick was from when I was all well, not brick, the stone. All the stone was when I was mining. Look for diamonds. Alright, um we can leave that the ceiling alone. Because all I'm here for is Putting in this, and we still need one door going outside, so we'll do that for now. We'll make it look nice in a minute, even though this won't look nice at all. And because we have ceilings, we can't add torches so that mobs don't spawn here either. So yeah. Done. Um, I don't know if it's still valid if I do this, but oops, that's definitely not nice to look at. But let's just assume it is. And the door is too high for them to reach. So yeah, um, that may be considered a town center now for them. Well, at least a place with the most amount of doors. Oh shoot, how many doors did I put in here? So I gotta do the same amount in the, in the next house I make. This way, the game, when it does the average to determine where the town center is, it goes, oh, hey. So I gotta do it in between these two areas, because that's Technically what it does is just looks at the averages for the homes. Well and well the doors. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Four by seven, that's twenty one doors. We fit twenty one doors in there? Alright. If the game says so. That's probably why they're all circling around this area now, because that's the new town center. Now, I want it to go... Hmm... Let's see... 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17... That is 17 blocks... Uh, yeah, that should be good in between. Anyways, let's just try and make it like the same amount of width. I'm not too worried about it during night. 
mostly because we had already secured the village. So we shouldn't have to worry about any zombies or creatures. I really wanted that. Really wanted that ladder. And I think I said it was one, two, three, four. Wait. Did I say 21 before? Because 21 would be 3 times 7. That's 4 by 7, so. That is definitely more than 21. That's 28. These, that's a lot of doors. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, see, there's the golem right there. It just spawned. Four. Right. So yeah, the there may be too many doors in there now. We can go in and take them all, take out like half. But it's like, how many doors do we want? And because no one's going to be looking inside this building, I don't care about windows or anything. I just want it somewhat presentable from the outside. Keep it just somewhat. Same design from the other place. How did you get in here? Oh, crafting table. Gotcha. It's like. It should have been impossible for you to come up there. You guys are okay, right? Yeah, they're going inside now. No, they're not. Hmm. Hopefully they didn't break somehow. Um, I like to put pumpkins down for the floor. This way, you can have light in here. I don't have any pumpkins right now. I do believe I have seeds. I just haven't spent the time to utilize them in a farm. I lost my pickaxe. Oh, jeez. Uh, I guess we'll just place that there for now. There. Yeah, I like to break the blocks using tools. It's a little bit faster than punching, so... I kind of value time more than resources. But then there's always that feeling like... I would like to save anything that can't be... Um, Created or replenished in some way or fashion. Like, I hate to get rid of saddles and name tags, but I know you can get more. It's just difficult. I believe it's that's all through fishing. If you 100% just got rid of all of it through 
treasure chests and all that sort. So yeah. No, the only thing I think is 100% non-renewable would be the dirt. Because the player has no way of going out and getting just dirt. He kind of needs to get dirt from another source that already existed. Like a bunch of it on the ground or something. Um, I was looking at the moon, seeing what the time was in the game. That's why, I, that's why I keep doing that. That last one, this last block was an accident. Um, yeah. Not too sure what I want the villagers to be doing when I get them to stop farming. I'll have to figure that out in a little bit. Seeing if I can put the door here, yes I can. Like that. Then we need to just fill it up. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. Ooh, a short one door. No, that's in that block. So, alright, this house is filled. We just gotta put a roof on it. Um, if one uses a wooden roof, oh jeez. Alright, time to make some stairs. Let's see what to talk about. What to talk about? Oh, this is this is witch hut over there. I was thinking about what to do with the witch hut. If we're gonna do anything, because I do know witches do spawn occasionally on their own all over the place. So I don't think there's anything to do specifically on our own with the witch hut. 
because we can still get witches regardless. I think the witch hunt just makes it a higher chance of getting witches there. It would be nice if we make that into a little font, a grinder, mob grinder. It's just, I already done a grinder already so soon over there. So I don't want to do another one so soon. Oh, I can reach the crap table from here. Good. Just need more stairs. More stairs. And finish up the ceiling. Yeah, I don't like to use slabs for all my construction. It's just in case I had to tear it all down, then this is a more of a pain in the butt. And I might as well add this small little brick in, in case the entire house burns down to a lightning storm or something, so we need at least a little bit of the framework done. So I'm gonna do the roof in easier next time in the future. I mine wood. At least it's not how do I mine for fish. Uh, World of Warcraft, so stupid. Alright, um. Oops. Hey, that's one way to get down. Alright, there is plenty of doors now. Between two villages, well, houses. The house is a little bit more elevated than that one, but that's okay. And considering that I'm Golem spawned, this apparently was a valid house, even though there the door is being blocked. Just going to replace that. Alright, so now I just gotta figure out more about the iron golems. Um I don't know how they spawn. That's that's going that's currently causing an issue for me cuz I want to trap them in. But I also don't want to like, get any villages in the way and hurt them. So, um this is probably going to be a stopping point for now. And when I we get back, maybe I'll have it looked up what to do with the iron golems, how they spawn and everything. So, alright. See you guys later. Bye.